I don't know how to um, start this video on a good note. So today I feel grumpy. <laughs> And I'm laughing as I'm saying this. Um, it's late. It's a couple of hours before this video gets to be published. And I'm having a bad day. <laughs> and as much as I love to um, keep positive and communicate to you the benefits of art, which I still stand for, um, I don't either want to sound like an imposter um, there are days where it's really tough for me to preach what I teach. And so today's one of those days and um, I have been cooped up inside for officially a month now. Um, I started my self-isolation on the 5th of March when I came back from Florida. And I think today it has taken its toll on me. <laughs> And in hindsight, maybe I should have gone out for a walk because it was a beautiful, nice, sunny day. But I had so much work to do that I couldn't bring myself to justify the, <laughs> as stupid as this sound, the five minutes that uh, I could have taken just to go outside. But here we are and I really wanted to give you something to look at. Uh, today because I know a lot of you are in the same position as I am uh, you're isolating and or isolated and it's always fun to have new material to look at um, I also want to mention that I'm not not happy with the with the painting but it's not what I wanted to do <laughs> and what I wanted to do uh, did not work and I had a few false starts and then the pressure was getting to me because I really wanted uh, I want I really wanted to present new material anyways you know the drill and I hope I'm not sounding as if I'm complaining I'm just venting <laughs> is it the same as being frustrated when you're venting I guess it helps you know, with the frustrations but anyways I've been doing a lot of detail to doodling uh, for my Patreon videos lately and so I guess I needed a break from that. Uh, when that happens I usually turn to loose paintings. Um, I think part of my frustration um, at the time that I'm like if I if I look at the painting as it stands now um, I think my frustration came from the color combination. So I was using, for some reason, I was using Payne's Gray and Lunar Black together, which is kind of odd <laughs> against that brownish green, uh, yeah, brownish green. Um, I think that's what gave me this weird feeling. And also the fact that I was painting black trees my guess is that it was reflective of what I feel, <laughs> but uh, the I love Lunar Black, but it's not what the painting needed, I felt, uh, but it was there, and I had started it, and I was running out of time, and <laughs> panic started to, <laughs> to take uh, place and to take shape in the trees, I guess. And I was also trying to do the tree trunks with that big brush, which did not work. So uh, I'm going to switch to another brush so I can do my thin lines the way I like them. Um, I figured out what was wrong with the color combination at the end, so I will correct that. But um, I still think as dissatisfied as uh, I was and maybe still am <laughs> um, I think I am proud of pushing through because it's so easy to abandon and say you know what it's not working I should just walk away I know for me that doesn't work because if I start walking away I'm going to walk away for a long time and so that's why I'm pushing myself to 
keep going and also um, to remind myself that it's okay to have those days. It's okay to not like everything I do. I mean, generally I don't. (laughs) But it's okay also to put out material that I'm not 100% happy with. Um, If only to demonstrate that uh, I'm like everybody else. I know I usually leave mistakes in, but um, this time around, I'm not talking about mistakes because I really don't mind the mistakes. Uh, This was just like a general blah feeling. (laughs) I think at this point, uh, once I've done the, um, the tree trunks and the branches, I turned off the camera and I was going to abandon. That was at the point where I'm like, no, this is not working. I hate it. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I know we're all, (laughs) we're all the same. Um, And what I ended up doing is re not redoing, but go going over those lines with that same brush, but taking my time. The thing I keep forgetting to mention, um, at least I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but I need new prescription glasses. Um, I have bifocals, I guess. Um, but when, uh, because I need the a new prescription, um, I'm kind of like an in-between phase where I can't wear my glasses and I can't not wear them. <laughs> So especially when I'm doing a smaller painting, it's difficult to me to do with my glasses and without my glasses. And the thing is, if I, um, I'm doing small details like the doodling or, ouch, I just knocked my finger. Um, those tiny branches, I need to be so close to my work that, um, all you would see is my head the back of my head I would cover um, the camera (laughs) so it was quite difficult so I turned off the camera and I went over some of the lines and it made me feel a bit better then I decided to add some white dots just to break that dark color and you know, I, I do love contrast, but I think this was just like way too much. I think it was just a, the paints gray and the lunar black together with that brownish, um, a green. It was just too much. I don't know. I think I keep saying the same thing. Uh, <laughs> you can tell I'm tired. Boy, I hope that you're still with me here because <laughs> I'm not. I've gone. <laughs> My mouth is here, but my mind is in bed. Um, (laughs) Not in a bad way. Oh my gosh, this is getting worse. (laughs) I'm not redoing this. I've redone it so many times. I'm not redoing the voiceover, but I think you know what I mean. Um, I guess those dots could also represent some semblance of flowers. Uh, After all, spring is here. We still have a tiny bit of snow on the ground, but just where the sun doesn't hit. Uh, when it's sunny, so I'm pretty sure the the early flowers and the buds in the trees are gonna come soon. At least I hope. Um, I look at it, and it's also looking like snow or dandruffs. <laughs> oh, all right. So I'm bringing up my favorite. Ben in the hopes that this will bring me a little bit of joy Uh, but even that pen did not do the trick (laughs) Uh, this is the silver glitter pen by Uniball it's fantastic Uh, and I've decided to add it just to the top left corner of each tree's corner there's no corner but you know what I mean the top left side maybe I should say and a little bit on the ground as well. Uh, I don't know why I feel the need to talk throughout the whole video (laughs) because I feel quite boring. I also did a bit of reflection on the ground just 
it again because I thought it would help the work. Uh, that was difficult to photograph too. That's the thing about metallic colors and sparklies. It's very, very difficult to capture. You have to have the proper lighting for that and I don't have it. Okay, so this is an hour later after I've done the painting and I decided to add transparent red oxide because it just dawned on me that black has no business being in the landscape. It is a flat color and it has no place there. Uh, but it's too late. My trees are done, so I need to figure it out. Um, so by adding another warm color, um, I think it helps distract the eyes from looking at all that black I think um, and it brought the painting to some sort of satisfaction or level of satisfaction for me I'm also going to be adding a little bit of the paints gray but very lightly so that it looks a little bit like uh, like a light blue so I'll be adding that to the sky as well as some of the trees and on the ground and that's it <laughs> i hope i haven't discouraged you i hope i didn't bring you down with my crappy dialogue um i feel a bit better <laughs> so no worries especially now that i'm done the voiceovers voiceovers are really tough for me but anyways um at least you've got something to look at and please do try loose painting please don't do black trees okay learn from my mistake <laughs> no black trees all right? Not with this style of painting. <laughs> Gray is fine. Dark blue is fine <laughs> if you really want to have dark trees, but uh, not black. Anyways, thanks so much for watching um, and try your hand at loose painting because especially trees, they're such an easy thing to do. You do a blob and then you do a line going down and you've got a tree. So practice that. Uh, and I hope, I hope you're going to have a good week. Uh, please stay safe and healthy. And a big thank you to my awesome patrons for, being, um, for bringing so much joy to me. And I will see you soon. <laughs>